In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a looping background. First, let's import the illustration file and change the composition's preset, frame rate and duration. To create a looping background, make sure that the left side and right side of your background illustration should be the same, so that it can be seamlessly loopable. Now let's create a pre-comp of the car and its wheels. Start animating the car by keyframing the wheels rotation property. Make sure the wheel move forward. Then add a loop rotation expression to the wheels by holding down the ALT key and left click the stopwatch icon. Let's add a little bouncing animation to the car. Set the anchor point of the car at the center of the car shadow. Then keyframe its scale property. In this example, we'll add three keyframes and the second keyframe is slightly closer to the third keyframe. By doing this, we'll create different timing between keyframes and make the animation look more appealing. Then change the scale property at each keyframe. Select all keyframes, press F9 to add EZEs to the keyframes. The keyframes of the wheel should be set to linear, if you want the car to move at a constant speed. Then add a loop expression to the car. Copy the car's keyframes and paste them to the shadow. Move the second keyframe of the shadow layer slightly to the right to create a feeling that the shadow is moving after the car. To create a looping background, add an offset preset to the background layer and keyframe the offset. Sometimes, you may see a black line like this. But don't worry. You can get rid of the black line pretty easily. Simply create a pre-comp of the background.
Select Region of Interest and cut the background. Then, select Crop Comp to Region of Interest. And the black line is gone. Now let's keyframe the offset. Check the width and height of the background pre-comp. In this example, it's 2,836. So with the second keyframe of the offset, we will add minus 2,836. The reason why we add minus 2,836 is that when the car moves forward, the background will move backward. Then add a loop expression to the background's offset. And we have just created a looping background. We hope you find this video helpful. The project files are now available for you to download on our project files library. Please check the description below this video for more information. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.